day. My name is Jaya Naidu. My presentation today is based on technology-based pedagogy for mathematics higher education, exploring the experiences of post-grad mathematics students. COVID-19 pandemic has transformed life globally. Teaching and learning in higher education have transformed to include technology-based pedagogy to curb the spread of the contagious coronavirus. In the era of the 21st century, technology-based pedagogy is important for supporting teaching and learning. In higher education mathematics con contexts, coupled with embracing abstract concepts in mathematics, are issues of what it means to incorporate technology-based pedagogy within the context of COVID-19. This presentation draws attention to a qualitative study that explored 38 mathematics education students' perceptions and experiences of technology-based pedagogy within the context of the pandemic. Technology has always been a part of teaching and learning. The accessibility to a variety of tools has amplified the use. With technology being a part of our daily life, it is essential to rethink the concept of integrating technology within pedagogy. The aim of this integration ought to support the learning process. Therefore, learning with technology has become essential for the 21st century classroom. This means that technology-enabled pedagogy ought to become a fundamental part of the learning experience and should be a necessary consideration for teachers and lecturers within the 21st century education environment. The study under focus was funded by the National Research Foundation and employed the use of survey questionnaires, semi-structured interview schedules, lecture observations and semi-structured focus group interviews. The study was conducted at one university in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. The participants were postgrad students who were also practicing mathematics teachers at schools in KZN. Theoretical Framing The theory of virtual communities of practice framed this study. This theory is a social theory of learning whereby the fundamental unit of inquiry is the community of practice. But the virtual communities of practice is different from traditional communities due to the prominence of their technological element and online platforms. The study was a qualitative study that employed the use of an interpretive paradigm. Participants were invited to two interactive virtual workshops using various technology-based pedagogy within the COVID-19 pandemic era. Thereafter, participants were interviewed individually online based on their perceptions and experiences of technology-based pedagogy for learning mathematics education. Data analysis. Data was analyzed qualitatively and this process assisted in identifying key themes from the data generated. A step-by-step -step process was used to analyze the generated data. Firstly, the two technology-based interactive workshop recordings were analyzed to ascertain the participants' responses to questions posed during the workshops. Key findings based on this analysis were coded using key terms or concepts that linked the participants' responses. Secondly, the individual semi-structured interview schedule transcripts were carefully read and notes were made. Each interview was then examined and analyzed to explore what the information meant within the study context. Thereafter, a list of standard codes were identified. Similar codes were grouped. These codes were carefully reviewed and organized as themes. 
Therefore, thematic coding was inductively used to generate themes. The arrangement of themes also merged notions established on the ideas of the theory of virtual communities of practice. Key findings. The findings of this study indicate that there are challenges and strengths to using technology-based pedagogy for learning mathematics in higher education. Globally, these findings are relevant when considering the perceptions, experiences, and implications of technology-based pedagogy for mathematics higher education within the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. There are strengths to using technology-based pedagogy based on the findings of this study, and this includes technology-enabled pedagogy makes abstract mathematical concepts easier to comprehend. It creates a supportive, connected mathematics learning environment. It encourages interaction and collaboration. It also saves time during the teaching and learning of mathematics. The challenges include the lack of material resources inhibits technology-enabled pedagogy. It creates distractions within the mathematics learning environment, requires compulsory access to expensive devices and data, and the lack of teacher or lecture professional development also inhibits technology-enabled pedagogy. In order to embrace online teaching and learning, the participants in this study used cell phones as teaching tools, created a smart classroom, used online learning and online assessments, used collaborative problem-solving techniques, and used a blended teaching and learning approach. All these technology-based teaching strategies may also be adapted by any lecturer in a contemporary lecture room. Implications for practice. In order to facilitate online teaching and learning, teacher training institutions globally need to provide workshops and training sessions to support students, teachers and lecturers with online teaching and learning. These workshops and training sessions could include aspects which explore the appropriate and effective use of technology-based teaching and learning tools in the contemporary education environment. Demonstrations showcasing innovative pedagogical practices that incorporate the appropriate use of technology should also be introduced to in-service and pre-service teachers. Conclusion. UKZN is moving in a positive direction towards embracing online teaching and learning. Our pre-service and in-service teachers are gradually being equipped with the skills necessary that support online teaching and learning. There is still much that can be done, but it is up to us as lecturers within higher education institutions. We need to become familiar with technology-based teaching methodologies for online teaching and learning. Thank you.